Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stink Gamers, and welcome. So I'm always getting comments in my videos asking about more gravity-based weapons. And what I really wanted to do today was talk about why gravity-based weapons have changed so much, but on top of them, are they really still that useful? Now there's arguments for both ways on this, so let's just try to take a bit of a neutral perspective and get all of them out the way. Now the first thing I want to show you is very, very simple. It is to do with stones. Many, many moons ago, you could launch a stone at a target. So let's um, do a quick switcheroo. Let's bring our character over here. We'll hit this switch, so that'll turn the connector on. That'll poop out a stone. That's pooped out two stones. So previously, you'd be able to do this. You'd be able to launch the stones at the target at high velocity, and you'd expect some damage to happen on the other side. So you can see the stones have literally just bounced off. This is a light armor block, and it's only one thick. So previously, it would penetrate through. Now, the reason it penetrated through was how it simulated these objects. Now, it used to simulate the objects in such a way where it would skip a part of the sim speed or such and such thing. That's the way I understand it anyway. It would skip a part and basically what would happen is the block or the stone would end up inside the block causing damage to it and exploding this. Plus, these blocks are very hard to destroy. Now, the second part, you're probably thinking, Aaron, what happens if you just launch a massive stone at it? Well, there's two parts about that that are a little bit problematic. Number one, you can't spawn in a massive stone um, unless you do the cargo container thing, that is a hard thing to replicate into a weapon. So I'm going to spawn in this massive stone, but look, it's really not that big. Now, I'm going to make this max this out to the maximum size of zeros I can stick on. So maximum amount of zeros, and let's just go 999 there. So we've got the maximum size we can actually spawn in. I'm going to compare that to that previous one. And look, so you can see at a certain stage, the stones limit the size. So you can no longer make a massive stone to fire at your enemies or even hide a ship so that throws that whole idea out the window so now we're on that level let's um, just launch another stone out at that target so this is one that is maximum amount of mass put that under there and we're just going to launch that towards the target once again turn that gravity drive off so it's traveling at maximum speed well it's not traveling at maximum speed it's actually traveling at a lot slower speed since it turned off the gravity generator but you'll be able to see the same result is it impacts, does nothing at all, doesn't even cause a dint. So the mass really didn't have any sort of effect on the target itself. So you're probably going, how could you come around this? How could you make a gravity weapon still? Well, it's still very, very easy indeed to do that. So what we've got here is a few different gravity weapon ideas. Of course, we've got one that is supercharged with a large mass, so that'll increase the speed a lot faster. Then we've got the warhead on the back of it. So I'll just grab this one for you. We'll move this down into position. And this one is very, very simple. We just need to rotate it in such a way where that is going to work. Perfect. Then we clip it into position and we just hold it there. So it's a little bit overcomplicated. Remember, the whole point of a warhead or a weapon is to make it as simple as possible so you can replicate it and make it very, very cheap. So we've got there, like so. And this is going to cause an explosion. We, we know that. So let's launch this at the target. So there we go, launch at maximum speed towards the target, and boom, as we expected. Very simple, very nice. It, it's, it's what you expect would happen. It's a warhead, isn't it, of course. But can we make it a little bit more cost-effective and a little bit cheaper? Yes, we can. So taking our previous experiments into consideration, let's try this little guy here. I know what you're thinking. What happens if you just use the stone? The stone's far cheaper than using an electrical cube. Now, that's what you've got to think about also as well. Even though that this is very simple, it uses two components. Number one, a reactor, and number two, the actual gravity cube, or the artificial mass block. So once again, this is a lot cheaper in design. So we'll put this in front of the actual system, and I'll show you exactly what happens. So with this sort of device, we're looking for penetration. It's going to go straight through the actual target itself make sure the gravity drives are off we activate this to activate the cube and then we fire it at the target once again another very simple device but you can see there's another problem there look we have the spinning and the rotation of it and the reason for that is because where the mass has actually been placed we have to stick the mass at the center of the object 
so when it is launched it stays stable in flight so you can see we're already building up a lot of different problems in a weapon that we'd hope to be very simple and on top of all this it's a weapon in this current configuration that can't be guided yes we could add guidance systems to it but then it becomes a lot more expensive to build and versus a normal rocket system you can see how gravity weapons have soon gone out of favor so you're probably wondering aaron what happens if you do a little bit of kind of both worlds well let's try just that so in fact we are going to do this we're going to actually grab ourselves the projector block we'll turn the projector on like so so you can see you're probably thinking yeah i could replicate that with the small landing gear and have a stone attached to the rear landing gear and launch it off but you can't build it using the projector method because it doesn't have secondary grids added to it so it means you'd have to manually place or manually weld on that secondary block so let's line this up let's get this nice and centered with it all so when that stone does pop out it will be able to actually magnetize to it let's just make sure all systems are working something that like that should do i'm hoping yeah that should be nicely and then we're going to pop out a projector stone oh god that was a little bit too fast see that's that's another little problem that we could have had with it if we don't turn our gravity stuff off so let's move that back into position and just get it nice and ready to accept the actual stone itself there we go hope that's in position i hope i didn't move yes i did i started drifting as i was placing it so you can see there's there's a lot of problems with gravity based weapons not not game related issues they're just they're not functional anymore they're not the best alternative and that's why you don't see them coming up on the channel you don't see them popping up on other things so let's turn our connector back on should pop one out very nice then that block should then magnetize to the landing gear there you go so now we could attempt to launch it this way yes we've that means we've not got an actual reactor on it we've not got as expensive of a design but watch again this will be another interesting little problem so let's actually fire that you can see it's going to be launching very awkwardly towards the target and yes it will slam into the target and create some damage but is that damage really going to be significant when you can fire a rocket launcher or something similar at it and cause much much more now in my opinion gravity based items only really have one use now and that is a propulsion method you can use them to propel your ships at a lot cheaper rate and especially if you get yourself into space and you can't find yourself much uranium you can use gravity to maneuver your ship but you have to know how to control it and what they're going to do is a follow-up video showing you how to build a gravity-powered ship in the current version of Space Engineers. If that was like something you like to see, then let us know in the comment section below. But that is the reason why gravity weapons are no longer a big feature of this game. They're simply not that effective. Where it comes to planets, they're a little bit more effective when you can drop them like a bomb. But out in space, the target's moving. On top of all that, simply... If someone attaches a gravity generator to the top of their ship or on their ship just to have simple movement around it it'll mean it'll change the whole arc of your gravity weapon there is just far too many variables to make an effective weapon with the gravity devices an effective weapon that is both affordable and useful on the battlefield anyway let's thank you guys for watching hope that cleared a few things up and i will see you next time